So you want to get your specific person back. If you do, then I am going to teach you and share with you the steps of how to do this and how to do it right so you do not mess it up. Now, the way I'm going to teach you, you can even get them back in as little as 24 hours. As little as 24 hours. Now, I have helped so many clients get their specific person back, no matter what their situation was. No matter what the situation was. Let me repeat that in case you didn't hear it. It didn't matter what the situation was. It does not matter what your situation is, what the circumstance is, because it is not the circumstance that is the issue here. What I am going to share works for everyone, and I mean in any situation. If you truly want them back, then just do exactly what I say. Do not miss out on any step that I share, because each of the steps are just as equally as important as the others. Do not miss anything out. This is guaranteed success when you do this. So you just follow the steps to the T. You do not alter the steps to suit your situation. Just do what I say and follow them exactly to the T as I share them. So let's get straight into this with step number one. You need to understand what everyone is you pushed out means. This is a Neville Goddard concept. And what this means is that what you believe, what you dominantly think, what you dominantly assume, what you dominantly believe to be true about you, about others, about things, will get projected from you and then reflected to you in how people treat you, what experiences come into your life. It is all a reflection of your dominant assumptions about you and the world. And therefore, it is coming back to you and saying and showing to you that this is who you believe you are and what you think about others and things and so on. So fundamentally, it is showing you where your dominant assumptions are currently lie. Now, this is the law of assumption. And this is the law that states that as long, as long as you align to your identity, to align to the version of you that already is experiencing your desired outcome, you can literally have, be or do anything that you want. So it is who you are being and who you are aligning to being based on your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, and your assumptions by being the version of you that has their desire before the desire shows up into your reality. So it can show up into your reality. So this is why this step is very, very, very important to grasp because who you tell yourself you are by the thoughts, the stories, the beliefs, the feelings, and the assumptions and the, you dominantly align to is who you are showing up as in the world being. And this is how people, experiences, and things will respond to you, whether that is positive or a negative response to it. It is saying to you that this is who you dominantly believe you are and that these are your dominant beliefs about you, about people, and about things. So it's time to get that pen and paper out and write down and be 100% honest. There is no time to bullshit yourself here. If you want them back, ask yourself this, what is it you are holding on to that is stopping you from being with your specific person? What do you believe to be true about you? What are your insecurities that you have about yourself that have been a part of this relationship not working the way that you want it to work yet? So it could be thoughts aligned to not feeling good enough or enough or not feeling worthy of love or deserving of love. Or it could be feelings of not being chosen or not being wanted. Or it could be feelings of, you know, they always leave in the end. So what's the point? Or you don't feel secure enough in who you are or in a relationship or you don't feel confident enough. You know, maybe it's even that you don't feel beautiful or handsome enough you need to be with this person maybe you've got this person on a pedestal you put people on a pedestal because you think everyone's better than you maybe you just don't feel safe to be loved or to love or to be committed 
to. Maybe you don't feel seen or valued or respected. So what is it that you tell yourself you are when you think about it? What are the I am's that you are telling yourself I am? Now, once you have dug deep into this, what we are now going to want to do is we're going to want to flip that story. We're going to totally revise these old beliefs and create some new, incredibly life transforming, new empowering beliefs that tell the story of who you really are. So how do you do this? Let's say you tell yourself right now that you're not good enough that you are now going to flip that to, I am good enough. In fact, actually, I'm more than good enough. I'm amazing. I'm incredible, actually, and I am worthy beyond belief. So what you're going to do is you're going to claim these new beliefs to be true for you, just like you did the old ones. So you can, act, so you can and this is the work, to remain persistent and to release those old stories by repeating and speaking in over them with these new stories. So you're drowning out the old by repeating the new ones over and over and over again. And the more you do this, the more you speak those in, the more you'll be embodying the identity of you being this new version. The old version of you will no longer exist. That old and secure version of you is now gone. So ask yourself, what is this new story? What is it that you bring to the table? Love, kindness, thoughtfulness, compassion, fun, playfulness, loyalty, kindness, support, care, so much more. And it is telling yourself this new story, these new stories with conviction that these are the traits that are making you deserving and worthy of this relationship. So own it and embody it. Now, like I said, do not skip any of these steps and only when you have done step one and revised your self-concept can you then move on to step two, which is what is it you are constantly telling yourself about your specific person? What is that story? What are you repeatedly believing to be true about this person? Maybe you think that, it's, that they're a player. Maybe that they don't take you seriously enough. Maybe they're not serious about being in a committed relationship. Maybe they're not serious about being in a committed relationship with you. Maybe they're just not that interested in you. Maybe they ne never really were. You know, based on law of assumption, if this is your dominant belief, these are your dominant stories that you keep repeating over and over again. This is why this is what is reflecting to you. This is why they are not showing any interest to you. This is why they are not coming to you, spending quality time with you. This is why they are not blowing your phone up. It's time to let go of this fucking story if you want them back, because this is why this person is not with you right now and obsessingly, lovingly over you. So what are the beliefs you tell yourself about them? And like yourself, concept, we are going to flip that story. So what do you want to receive from them? What do you want them to show up as? What is it, the story that you want? And yes, it is going to be being delusional for a time and ignoring everything that your reality is showing you right now. But you have to remember that the reality is reflecting currently the truth, which is the story that you keep repeating over and over again. So we change the story, we change the reality. Now, this is probably the hardest bit to do, to tell yourself what you want and to remain faithful to this new story and not focus on what is, what is out there. Your job is to let go of what is because that is done and to focus on what you do want. Who is someone that is obsessively loving you, who is committed to you and only you? This is the law of assumption and this is the work that you need to do to change your outcome to the desired outcome. This is then you aligning to the reality that you want. You're shifting into this new identity from your old identity, your new self-concept, and you're going to be recreating your reality from the reality that you don't want and letting that go to the reality and inviting the reality that you do want in for the outcome that you do want by telling Telling yourself it and sticking to it. You hold the power within. 
you get to choose the path that you want to be on to align to what the story is that you want to tell yourself by what it is you want to experience. So choose the path that you want and let go of the unwanted paths now because they do not and never did serve you. So right now and from this moment on, that old version of you, that old version of that story, that old version of them is gone. It no longer exists. It no longer exists. You are now only going to focus your energy and your attention on the story of you and the story of them that you want and that you are not going to give anything any attention to anything negative that is going to pull you off this new momentum that you are building within. You have to not talk to people about this. You have to keep this to yourself. You have to be 100% focused that any time you hear their name, you loop the new story. Anytime you see a sign, you loop the new story. Anytime you hear a song that reminds you of them, you loop the new story. Anytime you hear and or think anything negative, you loop the new story. The new story is what you're going to be using to drown out anything that is not aligned to the outcome that you want. And this is your responsibility. So this is the new you and the new them. From now on, from this instant moment, no more thoughts about the old. You are enough. You are good enough. You are worthy beyond belief. You are full of confidence. You're radiating magnetism, loving on yourself, adorable, desirable, and so much more. You are the person that knows that you are wildly attractive and fucking amazing. This is the story that you have to keep repeating and repeating over and over and over again if you want them back. And if you want them back fast, this is it. This is it. And remember, the old story about him or her does not exist. It does not exist. They are exactly right now how you want them to be. This is it. So you tell the story of what you do want. Them blowing up your phone with messages. Them talking about you to everyone. Them not being able to stop thinking about you, them not being able to spend more than a day without you, them lovingly obsessed about you, only wanting you, only having eyes for you, 100% committed to you. And of course, they act this way. Don't you know who I am? Haven't you seen me? Haven't you met me yet? I'm fucking amazing. I'm fucking awesome. They can't get enough of me. They can't stop thinking about me because they are so goddamn in love with me. Of course, this is how they are with me. You see, this is your job. It is your job to attach to the new story and only the new story. So there we go. Please feel free to like, share, comment, follow and subscribe, save this video. This really is all you need to do. This is all you need to do. This is it. So if you are someone who has done this and you know you have done this to the letter, to the T, and it didn't work, then this is why. There is a subconscious belief blocking blocking you, which is the root cause to why this and past relationships have not worked. It is a story so deeply embedded, you don't even know that it is there. And this is exactly what happened to my client, Rachel. And within 10 days, 10 days of finishing this intensive life transforming program with me, he came back. Her specific person came back. Nothing before had worked. So if you want them to be obsessed with you, lovingly blowing up your phone, 100% committed to you and only you, showing up for you, being all in with you, choosing you, prioritizing you, wanting you, loving you, talking about you to their friends and family, sharing you off to the world and on social media, being so bloody in love with you and desiring you that they want to commit to you in every sense of the word, proposing to you, having a family with them. So if this is you, and you want to learn more, then just DM me on my Instagram page. And the keywords here are manifest love. And let's have a chat. Let's all manifest and share these incredible results below so we can all celebrate you. Sending you all so much love, guys. And as always, I will be back very, very soon.